Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech, bringing you latest in tech news, reviews, and more. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Bowtie for Mac, which is essentially a desktop widget. It is an application, but it looks like a widget. But before I get on to the review, I just have an announcement to make. It is that I will not be able to make a video from next Tuesday to mid to late July. So, sorry for that inconvenience. I'm sorry for putting out a ton of videos now and I'm not going to be able to put them up for about a month of time. So, I'm sorry for that. There's just no way for me to get videos out during that time period. So, anyhow, onto Bowtie for Mac. As you can see, it's just a blank screen right now. But up here in my menu bar, you will notice this little icon up here. This is Bowtie for Mac. So, what I'm going to do is open up iTunes. As you see here, I have a little playlist for y'all. If I just click and play a song, as you can see on the bottom uh, right hand corner here, I have all the songs information and stuff. I've been looking for an application that does this for a really long time now because I try to look for something through Growl. But Growl um, got rid of Growl tunes for some reason. But uh, one of my friends, Kira, you can check her out. Her Twitter is Kira45, as you see, I'll have it right down here. Um, but she showed me this application, I'm really happy that she showed me it. So it shows you all these things, um, you can have iTunes closed, so it can still show you it. And also there's an iOS application, which I'll get to in a little bit. So I'm just going to open up the Preferences pane. This is how you access everything in, in, uh, in Bowtie. Here is the Preferences pane, we'll be taken to the General page. And as you can see here, you have all these different uh, things. So. I don't really care about this option. You can have uh, show to bottle it when no sources are connected and hide it when no current source is stopped. If that made sense. I can't talk today. So I have that checked off. Um, also application behavior. I have it started login, uh, hide a dock icon. I kind of leave the dock icon. There is a dock icon on installation. Uh, show Bowtie menu bar to have and use Bowtie special for shortcut and la last FM feedback, which I'll get to in a little. I don't really use this feature, so I might as well check it. Themes I'm going to skip over for now, but shortcuts, as you can see here, all the shortcuts are customizable. As you can see, there are playback shortcuts for everything, but if you're playing it from iTunes, you can just use the uh, function buttons there on your keyboard, which is pretty cool as well. Um, as you can see here, you can do this. This is only applicable for different themes, so I'll get to it in a minute. Um, and also Last.fm, as you can see here, you can connect your Last.fm account fairly easily just by clicking this. I don't have Last.fm, so um, I'm not using this feature, but it would be pretty cool to see as well. And last but not least, Remote. Um, this is for the iOS application. You basically control your iPod uh, music from your computer, which to me was pointless. It cost, it cost um, 99 cents, and you can only control your iPod. I thought it was kind of a streaming device, you can stream music from your iPod or iPhone onto your computer, but it's actually opposite. So for 99 cents, this does not really make sense to me at all, or anything like that. So if you are having a party or something and need to control something from the DJ booth, I can see this. Um, but to me, it was just kind of weird that they even included this feature. I wouldn't use it at all. So the themes. Themes is probably the greatest feature of this, is that you could, there's like a theme that fits anyone. So as you can see, um, I'm using Bob Tide by Dark Bob. I think it's pretty simplistic. I like these little simplistic themes. I also really like the font League Gothic, which is used in this uh, theme. So yeah, but my other favorites are minimal. This is a really interesting one. Um, hold on. I'm just gonna decrease the volume a bit. Why is it up that high? I don't know. Um, but if I choose this one, just click apply. It's as easy as that. And this one allows controls. As you can see there, it's just, it doesn't show any information or anything. Double click to skip a song. And you can triple click to go back a song. Which is pretty cool. I also really like Past, um, which is actually a... It's actually a modification of this one. As you can see here, it's just like a bop tie. But a little bit different. Past is animated. So if I just went on to Past, you can move this widget anywhere you want. As you can see down here, you can rate it. And if you rate it... It rates like directly in iTunes, so um, if I just give it a 4 star rating, it'll go down, 5, whatever. As you see, it's instant, which is something I really like. Um, also, uh, it shows you the progress through the song on this theme, which is pretty cool. A lot of things do different things. Um, this one also shows you 
the progress bar. So if I could find where it went, so apply. I don't know why, that one just went and disappeared. Which is pretty odd, I don't know, I'll figure that out later. But there's something really for everyone on this application. I really like these minimalistic uh, typography themes. It's really fun. So now on to whether or not, sorry I have to close this. So now on to whether or not this is a good app to buy. Well basically it's, or not buy, it's free, but basically it's instant. Unless I go really fast through all the things like this, um, it's not going to lag at all. It's pretty cool. Also, a lot of different themes do different things. You can control it right from most of the little widget things, which is pretty cool. And also, I really like it because I've been, look as I said before, I've been looking for something like this all the time. It's an easy way to see what song is playing at the moment without having to open up your iTunes panel. It looks much nicer than the mini player in iTunes. So overall, I definitely recommend this app. It's also available for Windows, so that's pretty cool. And just, uh, I'll have the download link in the description. Please be sure to check it out. So if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And sorry that I won't be back for a while. But I want to come back. I'm sure to have a lot of content. I have a giveaway coming up once I hit 200 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, please click the doobly-doo or whatever button above. And I'll see you next time. Bye.